Hi everyone and a warm welcome back to the June Monthly Warner Tournament from SD League. Today we have a couple of games with the Lathans and Soltech. Lathans tells me that they are good YouTube casts. We'll see about that because I have noted that they are both fairly short games. I don't know if they win one each or one person's wins both, but we will see. Lathans playing over on the right in blue as the 39th and over on the left in red we have Soltech playing as the 7th Panzer Division. Usual kind of spread of units with Lathans mostly going to the top here. He is sending some stuff into the center here. Something down here. Recon, I assume. Yeah. Something coming around the back here. Smattering of units, mostly recon at the top for Sotek and most of his forces coming into Alpha. Exactly what we would expect to see from this map. Pretty much the classic spread. Person on the right goes to the top, person on the left goes to the bottom. On occasion, you might see a chopper rush with infantry to the further point, but not often. We did see that recently. I think, did Hippie do it? He rushed into Bravo from the left-hand side. So Bravo goes quickly to Lathans. Chopper goes down here. That was an MI2 recon chopper from Sotek that went down. Reinforcements now being called in the top for Sotek. He's going to intend to try and get in the top end of Bravo. What is going on here? Oh. Lathans is going for an immediate push through to the back here. Now, there are units coming in here. It, I would expect... I, I suppose Sotek's not going to see these units coming through. And he's just charging through. He's got quite a few T-80s there, actually. I mean, this is an expensive start. As a result, he doesn't have a huge amount on the field. He does have some Osas moving up with them as well to provide cover. Rocket attack at the back there in case he needs to take anything out. MI2 being called in. Very smart by Sotek here just to see what is coming. He knows something's going on. Just keeping an eye on that rocket attack jet at the back there. I'm assuming it's going to swing around at some point and go this way. It's being flown in over here. MI2 should see all these units coming in. We'll probably get killed by the Osas, though. Now, there's nothing really back here for Lathan, so it could be that Sotek may try and push through into Delta. And also, there's nothing left in Bravo. Sotek doesn't know that, though. MiG-23 taking fire from the Osas. Sotek will now know that these are there. I should think. Yeah, definitely seen them now. Osas will probably take them out, though. The Osas aren't actually firing at the moment. Oh, there they go, finally. Let's bring in another T-80 now. Got a bit of movement here, some T-55s pushing up to the center here. And there we go, Lafans has secured the back point. I mean, it's that charge through with the tanks. And, you know... Lathans and the other guys who are pros at the moment keep stressing to me how at the moment the entire game is tank meta. Wall of tanks, push them in. Wall of tanks, push them in. And they're just pretty much unstoppable. And I mean, I guess this goes to show that fact. A couple of tanks here, including a command tank with some AA cover, have just pushed in here. Obviously, reinforcements called in by Sotek very sensibly, including a command to stop that being completely taken over. Tanks coming in from the side here, but obviously the T-80s are just stronger tanks, which is a big problem. Sotek is trying to make a move up this way. We'll go past those Grenzers, which can't really do anything to those tanks. Every chance he could get in here, though, that T-80 is going to be in the point guarding it. Fortunately, these T-72s taking a lot of fire. A little bit of damage on the T-80 from those T-55s, though, and the BMP-1. Sotek's a little bit pinned in at the back there. Some T-55s being called in here. Obviously, they'll be coming from the back here. There's another T-55 AM2 coming in. Sotek making a push here. Exactly what I'm expected to see. I don't know where he's going. He's going to try and push Bravo. There are some tanks there. He doesn't know it, but maybe he would have been better off pushing Delta. It's really hard, though, if you don't know what your opponent has where as far as uh Soltek's concerned he's moved everything out of bravo up there it's it's really difficult to call in this situation 
The beauty of being able to cast and see everything on the map. It makes the judgment calls a lot easier. And there's the surrender. Oh, soul tax. Commiserations. Lathans was just being very aggressive with those tanks there. And it, yeah, I guess that just goes to show how much the tank meta is just winning so much right now. I mean, very few losses, very short game. Let's hop into game number two and just see. I'm really curious if Lathans does exactly the same thing. Okay, welcome back to game number two. Lathans is on the right again, playing as the 39th Infantry. And over on the left, we have Sotek playing as the 8th Infantry. He does have some arrow rifles pushing in to get into Alpha early. Let's see what has Lathans got this time. Motostrelki, Sapri, Iglers up at the top. Yeah, exactly the same tactic again. Two T-80Bs and the T-80BK command tank. So he's I'm, I'm expecting exactly the same thing here. He's going to hit Foxtrot, hit Delta, and possibly push through to Charlie. Just that rolling tank charge. These units, all the infantry coming in at the bottom there. I just, we just need to keep an eye on what happens at the top here. Obviously, plenty of units coming in here for Soltech. The exact thing we'd expect to see on this map is Soltech getting there first, getting nice and secure, utilizing Hilo infantry, and Lathans will be a little bit later because he hasn't got Hilo infantry out. Thunderbolt in gets a good shot off at that SU-27. Both jets being called out, though. The RDM-2 plowing through here. Just has machine guns on it. Military police here. Will pose a threat to a vehicle like that. The shots from the uh, M67 look so slow now, don't they? They've really slowed down the travel time on that. It's, it looks strange now. It looks strange. Cobra being used very effectively here by Sotek, killing these infantry, or assisting killing these infantry. There is an Igla at the back here, though, and the BRDM-2 opening fire on the Cobra, causing issues. 84 team should be able to take out that BRDM-2, though. Up at the top, tanks have stalled. I thought they were just going to plow straight through, but they have stalled. It's very interesting in in the for charity fun tournament that i played uh, i got stuck in this similar situation that Athens is in now most of my stuff got killed coming into this point and i lost my tanks that i'd brought in up here to a an enemy big tank Lathans didn't have to deal with a big tank he is just plowing through with those t-80s coming around the top here i assume so he can shoot down the gap down at the bottom, the Motostrelki are surviving. The Cobras are coming in. Engineers Flash do have Flash Fire ready. Unfortunately, there are some Sapri here which do have some Satchel Chargers left, which is a problem for the Arrow Rifle, certainly. Cobra coming in, doing some damage with its Gatling gun. Another Cobra is here, but it is heading up to the top to try and deal with those tanks and things coming in. M1A1 Abrams coming in for the top. Fantastic choice. Nice and effective against those T-80s. Flash. Now depleted. But have done plenty of damage. Cobra rearmed there at the supply. Does have rockets left. Has managed to clear up all those infantry. Needs to just clear this building as well. SC-25 rocket is coming in for it though. Chaparral's may get the kill on the SU-25 in return. Obviously, the chopper does go... Oh, wow. It got the infantry as well. SU-25s can just... It's the same as the A-10s. They, they change targets too quickly for me. I don't think they should be able to do that, like, instantly switch targets as they come in on a run. It's, it's a little bit, you know... I'm not sure. I feel like you, you lose control of the aircraft flicking it about like that at such a low altitude. T-80 coming in here now. SC-27S is in. Going for that Cobra in the center. Does get the kill. Chaparral does get a nice hit on the SC-27S. 
But here Lathans comes again with these three tanks. I think it was a BVK in the last game, but a BK is still a big heavy tank. And if you're protecting it, he's still got the BMP2s coming through as well. He's got Osa protecting it. The Abrams will pose a threat. What can he see? Those, those tanks aren't in tank gun range. Can he engage there? Cannon Jagdpanzers will engage there at a bit of, bit of a distance, though. Cannon Jagdpanzers would be useful, but they'd have to be really up close and personal. Abrams pushing up. Military police have been taken out. Tanks turned its front armor. He's going for the command tank. Oh, that was the right choice, but those two tanks just reload so quickly. M60 is pushing in down the bottom. Fantastic choice. Thunderbolt A10 coming in. Can he see the tank still? That one is smoked. It is badly damaged. T80 pushing around here. Going to go for that command vehicle, I think. Is it visible? I don't think it's visible at the moment to the Thunderbolt. There's not any recon down here. There we go. Fantastic. Thunderbolt gets the kill. Is taking fire from the Osa, though. Ooh. That is a very lucky A10 Thunderbolt. I thought Pua Sotak was going to get a really bad dice roll on that Osa missile. Uh, command back in the bottom point here, but plus five currently to Lathans. I didn't even look at the point. I've been so focused on what Lathans is doing at the top. He's currently plus five and is obviously plowing through those points. Almost at the 2,000 point mark. Just under seven minutes gone. More reinforcements coming in for this bottom point. I mean, Lathans has managed to maintain a tiny foothold in this point with his command. The tank meta is real, people. The tank meta is real. Poor Sotek, that is, that is pretty brutal that that is that effective. I mean, the only counter to that would be multiple Abrams at the start of the game, I guess. It's not cheap. Just having a look at what's happening down at the bottom. I mean, Sotek's doing a really good job here. He is managing to keep the pressure on. That tank is hunting command vehicles, and it's also hunting the chaparrales. He might be able to stun lock it with the Cobra. Abrams coming down. I see 25 coming in. I mean, there's plenty of stuff in play here. The Mi-24 attack helicopter coming in as well. Soltek, they were such brutal games. Victory to Lathans in both games, this one due to the points, but just, wow, it was, you know, that, that tank push was just devastating. And I spoke to Lathans, so I'm editing my sound at the end here, so if you've stayed for this bit, it's worth it. I had a chat with Lathans, and his statement on this was, he's trying to demonstrate that on these two maps in particular, the towns are just bait, and you can pretty much ignore them. And I guess in the first game he showed that by just plowing through, you know, Bravo and not worrying about it. And then equally on this one, I guess he he did put up a fight for the town at the bottom, but in the top he just plowed through. Um, it's, I think it's a really difficult one. I, it might depend who you're playing against and what equipment you have. But for me, Lavhands had air superiority. He also had anti-air cover for those tanks, and then. The only counter I could see working for Sotek would have been Abrams. Multiple Abrams right at the start. But knowing that your opponent is going to bring in that many tanks every time, it's unexpected. I didn't expect Glathans to do the same thing twice for definite. But that explains the short games. But the tank meta is real, people. So there you go. Thanks for watching, everyone. Please do like, share, subscribe. And I'll see you all soon for some more Warner.